Hyde on Piccadilly in London, uh, opened April 2018. In terms of the business itself, um, we have the second largest wine list in the world um, due to our relationship with Hedonism Wines. So at any one time, we've got around about 6,500 6, different references available. If wine's your thing, Hyde is, is where to go. COVID-19 has had a, a seismic impact on hospitality as, as a sector and Hyde is definitely part of that. It's been a very, very challenging year, a very challenging period for us all. It's certainly shown how resilient we are. The reason we took the step to install outdoor heating at Hyde is because from the 12th of April we were mandated to operate outdoors only. Um, so we set up a terrace. With the UK weather not necessarily lending itself to al fresco dining, we had to kind of create an environment where guests would be happy to sit um, and spend a period of time where they have relative comfort. They obviously they need to be dry, so we, we have the gazebos and we have the planters, but of course heat and the bromic heaters. We took the step to install them because they're a great product and they've, and they've kept the terrace nice and warm. The outdoor heating has allowed us to create an ambience and an environment where people are happy to stay for a longer period of time. It's allowed us to create a indoors-outdoors effect. Bromic, the product itself, was highly regarded, it was highly rated, it looks right. Customer feedback's been very good. Most of my customers that have been to other restaurants have commented that the heaters that we have installed are the best that they've seen. Hyde will continue to offer a heated outdoor space in the future. People like to dine al fresco, strangely even when it's raining, um, so we do need to have that heating provision available. What? What?